Hi everyone, Eddie's here, and today's video is going to cover just the updates on the vendors' helium hotspots, including Bobcat, Callchip, Curlink, Long AP, Nebra, Rack Wireless, SenseCap, and SynchroBit. Uh, SenseCap has uh, some interesting news, so no further ado, let's go into this video. with Bobcat Miner update. The first update is anyone getting zero witness beacons should read this to understand why. So coming in here, uh, any technical issues with beaconing and all that stuff, it relies on two things. First of all, it relies on a stable and fast internet connection. So you need to have fast internet connection. So your hotspot or Bobcat Miner in this case, needs to have fast internet. So if it's far from your router, that means it's, it's not fast as it should be. If you cannot get it as close as possible to your router, then you might consider buying a booster from Amazon. And the second part of this is if your hotspot is relayed. I'm going to leave the link below of how to I made a video of how to solve the relay, so it should not be a problem in your case. So this is really simple as that. Uh, the second update for Bobcat is delivery dates. Uh, apparently they moved their factory from Wuhan to Shenzhen. So Shenzhen is a port, while Wuhan it's not. So they, once their ship, their whatever is ready, they had to ship it to Shenzhen, and from Shenzhen they had to be shipped overseas so they're cutting the lead times for now by moving to Shenzhen so they cut the time of three or five days whatever it is uh, and whenever it's ready the ships overseas right away well the transition I'm sure it will take time but that's what it is so maybe it's gonna slow for a bit now but then it will pick up in the future another thing uh, this is already well known people that ordered by the end of April or beginning of May we knew that the lead time was 8 to 12 weeks and if you ordered on the 1st of May or the 2nd of May it's gonna be a 12 week lead time while if you ordered in let's say June it would be like 16 weeks if you order now it will be like 20 weeks that's the summary of this whole thing and that's all the updates regarding Bobcat Miner Next is Curlink Hotspots updates. Uh, we, here, we have here a quick update. We are finalizing the software integration. We are working with Helium to perform the audit very soon. We expect to start shipping in July. Uh, please read the pins. Uh, all they're saying here, uh, there are so many scammers that are impersonating the company and they're, um, they're claiming to sell the Helium Curlink products. This is very common among, among all the hotspots. So guys, I'm not going to repeat this so many times. Make sure you go to the right vendors. There's no such thing, uh, a shortcut of how to get this. If somebody claims it's not true, even if some of them have a good looking website that looks the same, it feels the same, no. Just make sure that you purchase from the original vendors. So this is everything regarding Curlink. Uh, there's nothing that um, is, is needs to be updated. Um, and then let us go for next. Nebra hotspot updates. Uh, things are not looking very well for Nebra as well. Uh, approximately 50 orders have been affected and we'll be actively working to improve process internally and with our partners to improve stuff for the future. The batch one problem orders I anticipate will all be solved within the next couple of weeks, either directly with the courier or with the courier or by sending a replacement. Uh, so you need to check with Discord if you have any of these problems. And regarding shipments, uh, we can see here batch one that was ordered on the 9th of February. Oh, that's a very long time. Um, it will be shipped end of June. You should receive it. And there's orders of uh, batch one shipment early July, remainder of batch one early July, remainder July, 
Now you could check here your numbers so that you see where you land. End of quarter three for the last one. So it's basically just tracking what's going on with Nebra. Um, they have some technical issues as well. So that's probably it for Nebra. Now let's talk about the Rack Wireless Hotspot update. Uh, they had some issues, all they're saying in their Discord, if you have on onboarding issues, uh, then you just DM your Hotspot Miner QR code. Uh, these are just the technical issues. Um, Shipment-wise, they are doing very well. Uh, we're shipping 10,000 miners this week, with more in production to reach your doorsteps. That's uh, pretty awesome. It looks solid. I think people that ordered Rack are quite satisfied. Uh, another thing about Rack, they have introduced the Bobcat Outdoor Enclosure Kit. So in case you want to replace your out, uh, Bobcat Outdoor, then you don't need to, to wait for Bobcat. You can purchase it through uh, the Rack. Uh, they're very good in providing also very good antennas. If you guys are interested, uh, you know, just go to uh, storerackwireless.com or follow them on Twitter and you can reach here. Uh, they're pretty reasonable in price as well, and they have pretty good solid antennas. So this is everything about Drac. Now SenseCap, the new kid on the block. Uh, like I said in my previous videos when I talked about SenseCap, I highly recommended that you guys upgrade your antenna. So apparently they have listened, and hence we made changes on SenseCap uh, Sense M1 default antenna. For US 915, it is 2.6 DPI instead, I think, of 1.2, and for the EU, it's 2.8 DPI. I think they're still below uh, what you should get, uh, but it depends on your area and your location, so I will not comment on this. It's up to you. I would upgrade to 4 to 5, but again, it depends on your location. But, anyways, it's definitely better. Than before and the good thing these changes make no impact on the shipping plan but they're saying they're gonna have different vendors and this is good uh, to avoid what happened to long AP while well, everyone just jumping on one site and that makes it crash uh, does this mean this will not crash um, I don't know um, most likely it will but it depends on the strategy they're following if they're gonna have multiple like five or ten uh, vendors then that will you know uh, decrease the pressure uh, also here in the discord again this is another alert because of the high demand on SenseCap you will find a lot of scammers just creating websites and frauds either through social media or anything else as long as they just scam you and here's a warning and this is not only for SenseCap, it, it falls for every single one of them. But SenseCap already announced this. This is just today. Uh, for your support always, and we appreciate your patience and waiting for updates while our team is working around the clock. We hope to get SenseCap, and thank you for the kind hope and support. The official website is SenseCapPMX.com. The first batch is currently under production as planned. We should have them shipped around mid of July. List of partners. Uh, who will distribute it? This will be announced as soon as it is confirmed. We notice there are some false news and attempts of a scam that may seek to obtain money or personal detail. Please beware of scams. Applying association with Sense Cap stating that they can accept pre orders or any other marketing or sale activities. Uh, therefore, just follow their Twitter or Discord channel. Or this is the website where they're going to announce uh, the vendors. So, guys, please be aware of this. This is really important. Um, you know, everything is going fine now. How are they going to handle this? I hope they learn the lesson from Long AP. And um, I don't know how they can avoid that, but let's hope that having multiple channels, and I think they will have a vendor in China to cover probably Asia. They can have a vendor in Europe to cover Europe. They'll have a vendor for US and Canada probably to cover the you know North America. They might have more than one. Uh, that would be great. Um, this way, uh, it's good to uh, you know make sure that the websites are not overloaded. However, if they can have the same problem, like they had in Log AP where they oversell, well, they have multiple vendors. 
and each vendor uh, is going to say, okay, I have 50 or 100, uh, we don't know what's going to happen. If they learn the lesson from what uh, Log AP uh, went through, then they should avoid this. Let's hope the best. Uh, I think they're they're in the commercial business uh, versus uh, Syncrobit and Long AP. They're not in the commercial business. So what I mean here is SenseCap and Rack are in the commercial. They produce this in the commercial uh, sizes, while Long AP, Bobcat Miner, they're more industrial. So I think they have more experience. They have uh, their hands are more dirty into this. Uh, kind of logistics. So let's hope the best and things look uh, pretty solid so far. And um, that's everything regarding SenseCap. Um, just be aware of the scammers. Everything is online. Everything is on time. Um, and this is everything about SenseCap. Last but not least, Syncropit. So they have uh, some good news for people that have refund uh, issues. You need to contact support at syncrop.it. It's a full refund until the order is shipped status. Any new orders will be shipped in October. EU orders already shipped up to this batch number. EU orders will be estimated to be fulfilled by the shipment on the way to warehouse. Be aware that if you're in the EU, phone numbers required for all EU units. We require phone numbers for those for these orders and have sent an email out to all EU customers that ordered in January, February, or March. We must have this information before your orders ships. So um, you need to be aware of this. Uh, the shipments uh, from in expect to be to begin Monday. You are expected to be fulfilled by additional shipment on the way to warehouse. Shipped from factory June 29th, just yesterday. So things are looking good. Um, just make sure that you have the numbers all recorded. Everything is set. Other than that, uh, we anticipate 4,000 units going out in the first batch. So they they look pretty good. So this is a quick update on all the you know hotspots for the Helium network. Uh, what I'm going to cover next in the next video is the Planet Watch. Um, a friend of mine wanted to uh, get into this. Uh, one thing that you should uh, guys be aware of, not every crypto mining means it's going to be a successful uh, case or a successful business or investment. And Planet Watch, for example, I do not like the project. I think it is not worth it. There is too much hype for nothing. Uh, so this is my next video uh, I hope that you guys it's up to you this is not a financial advice but I'm gonna reflect my uh, opinion on why this is not something I would personally go in if you want to proceed that is uh, you know uh, your decision but I don't think this is a well thought project for many reasons which I'll explain in the next video if you guys want me to review any other projects like Akash or Deeper or Threefold or any of those stuff, please tell me which ones that you want me to cover. There's so many. I don't like many of them, especially Deeper. But um, and even Akash, I'm not a big fan. I know it looks good. I know it solves a problem. But there are so many variables that it's too early for it uh, to mature. Uh, in, in principle, I know it's a good project, but it's a tough project. Um, if you guys have interest in any of them that you want me to review, then just drop me a link. Which ones do you want to cover? For me, I'm going to cover the Planet Watch just for one good reason, because it's going to start in July, I uh, think, 1st, where they're allowing the, the Tier 1 to be purchased. So... Um, which is a huge amount of investment. I think it's tens of thousands of euros. And I don't think their token can mature or probably survive. So that will be my next video. If you're interested, just click on the bells so you can be notified when this video comes out. And uh, this is about it. And we'll see you in the next video.